to them now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Narin Honghitra. And here we go, round number one. Pet Mai taking his time, trying to figure out his opponents. Mike Joe, lefty. Pet Mai, right handed. This is more of the pace I'm used to compared to that uh, match we just saw earlier, right? Yeah, absolutely. But again, big boys, big shots, and, po and knockout power. So they'll be more careful, that's for sure. Definitely big, right? Mike Joe's over 180 centimeters tall, I believe. 72.5 kilograms, the middle weights. Whew. Big low kick there. Yeah, you can see Mike Joe looks so much taller, especially from this angle. Both fighters taking the time. Ooh, left hand attempt. You know, it really is totally different watching it firsthand in the arena with the big fighters like this. You really hear the smack of the kicks. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You can hear and feel the power of being in the audience. Oh, Petmai really aiming for those legs right now. Mike Joe not really blocking it. And bigger weights sometimes tend to fight a little bit slower as it only takes them one shot to turn off the lights of their opponents. I'm just noticing now also Mike Joe is a southpaw, uh, at least tonight. Yeah, he is. Woo! Trying to run away. Petmai stealing a kick there. Yep. What? The, the ref is going to call for action. You can take their time, but don't take too long. <laughs> Quite different than that last match we saw. Yeah, absolutely. And this is what we want to see. I mean, real Muay Slow and real, methodical. Yeah, real action. Ooh, nice the catch. Right kick there. Sweep. Beautiful takedown there from Mike Joe. But a takedown that is not allowed by the rules of Muay Thai. You can kick somebody down, but you cannot do a sweep. One minute left. Mike Joe has been relatively not hitting so much. Not yeah, sure. but it's uh, orthodox in, in South Pie. I thought we'd see a lot more middle kicks there. Yeah, but absolutely, but Mike Joe right now seems... Switching to the orthodox there for a yeah, second. Yeah, he is. Perhaps the distance is the main issue for Mike Joe right now, making him unable to actually throw any kicks or punches. He's just letting Petmai slowly... Now you mentioned he does this in his matches quite often to switch between the two stances. Yeah, and to be honest, it seems like he's confusing himself more than his opponent. I'd like to see something else coming from the Japanese fighter right now. A round that might go in a favor of the Thai fighter pretty easily. Whew, big right kick there. All right, end of round one. We'll get to find out really soon. Round two. And we're usually seeing Pet Mai fighting better, better throughout the rounds, usually quite slow in the first one. So, well, there we go. The elbows we were waiting for. Things are heating up a little bit from round two here. 
<laughs> now the pet my the audience wants to see going at it for elbows here in the clinch no action the ref is going to break it off mike joe still hasn't seemed to find a way yet Woo. mike joe failing to slip an elbow Ooh. of his own here we go the hands the kicks oh and the big elbow from the tie fighter mike joe is in survival mode right now it seems like can't really find a way to hit his target at all Oh, nice cross. Now pet my. Oh, ho, ho, I heard ho. that crack from here. Ooh, and a big elbow again. Oh, that's the experience of the Typhoon. I'm not sure. It seems like his foot hurts somehow. Oh, and a big elbow there. And the Japanese fighter is hurt. He's on the back foot there. It looked like that cross hit him quite square. Mike Joe needs to come up with something. Oh, he's hard trying to shake it off, but he's definitely hurt. Oh, and the big elbows again. You can hear the crowd cheering with every shot. Oh, it smells blood. Whew. As expected, Pet Mai going out of with the elbows. Now, Mike Joe, perhaps an opportunity for him to be a little more aggressive. Wow. <laughs> Muay Thai to the finest there. Jumping elbow from Pat Mai. No real answer from Mike Joe at the moment. Absolutely not. Not quite sure what was the game plan. But right now it seems. Going for a big hook there. Yeah, and listen, he needs to make this a dirty fight. He needs to stay inside. He needs to start soaring. You can't just ask for shots and not throw anything back because right now it's all for Petmai. Completely control in control right now. I'd like to see a little bit more kicking from Mike Joe there. Stay away from those elbows if yeah, you can. You're right. We haven't seen him kick at all. Mike Joe without a solution right now. Is he trying to go for a sweep there? It was... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do, but... Oh, and a big kick wow. from Pet Mai. The round that will definitely go in favor of the Tie Fighters once again. So let's find out. Oh, and right away. Wow, great start there from Pet Mai. And you got to love the fact that Team Thailand is actually trying to significantly win every fight. Oh, Whoa. and he's caught. And I believe this is what's missing for the Japanese side right now. It seems like they're not really trying to win, but trying to survive more than anything else. It's the master class here with Pet Mai. Oh, absolutely. Big shots, big shots. Pretty much unanswered for any attacks that he's been doing. Mike Joe looking absolutely clueless on what to do. Whew. Beautiful middle kicks here from Pet Mai. Well, credit to Mike Joe for taking it like a champ, though. Oh, well, you don't want to take too many of these. Well, he's asking for a fight. He's been having it for the past few rounds. Now it's it's his time to bring it. He must have something up his sleeves. <laughs> Nice catch. <laughs> this is like a pro wrestling match <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> well, you can see the Thai fighter very composed. Not falling into the pressure that Mike Joe is trying to apply. I'd like to see Mike Joe throw more though. Oh, look at that. Beautiful elbow. How is Mike Joe still standing? Now uh, you can see the experienced pet Mai playing up. Wasting a few seconds. Beautiful footwork there from Petmai. Looks Woo! like he put all his points in his life gauge, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What a rare good head kick from Mike Joe. I'd like to see more of it. One minute remaining to do the impossible. 
and nearly impossible as it seems right now. I yeah. think maybe Petmai has the same question as we do. Like, what, what kind of attacks we see from this guy? Yeah. Well, you said it. When he created his character, he definitely put it all in health bar. He's got a lot, that's for sure. We haven't really seen anything significant from him. You can see marks on his ribs. The one thing he doesn't have is time. We're running out here. 30 yeah, seconds left on the clock. 30 seconds left. Now Petmai just using footwork, moving around. Doesn't need to expose himself to a dangerous shot. Okay. Oh. It's good to see something. Oh. <laughs> oh. Some of the crack of those middle kicks, man. <laughs> the end of last round. Significant win for Petmai. But hats off to Mike Joe for being a bit able of frustration to stand there, there from Mike Joe. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you're fighting against a fighter that's ranked number one in Russia, and you're not fighting a nobody. Oh, and look at these shots. Absolutely incredible performance from Petmai. Oh, look Beautiful at the timing. Elbow. Yeah. Oh, and he was hurt. We could see it on his face. Well, two fights, six rounds won by Thai people. Make it official, of course, with Mr. Beer, the voice of Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judge scorecard. All three judges score is about 30 to 27. Declare your winner by way of unanimous decision. Red corner. Head by Siena Bupala Rajaranda. Shusha Akakuna. Hit to my Siena Bupala.